Hi, welcome back to the iWealth Podcast. Today we have one of our newest members of our team, JP, that's joining me. And uh, I just wanted to let our you know, viewers know and listeners know a little bit more about you and how you got to iWealth and uh, what you're looking forward to. So how did, how did we meet? Go ahead and go there and then, and then talk to me a little bit like where you grew up, that kind of stuff. We, we got introduced through a mutual friend, um, spent some time in Elysian. I was bartending at the time while I was in yeah. college. Yeah. So uh, got introduced through Bubba Henniger and yeah. uh, kind of started an internship as I was going into my senior year of uh, college at Gustavus. Um, mm-hmm. Started doing an internship in January, kind of coming two days a week in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Bubba and I went to school together, and he's like, hey, I got this guy I really like. You should, you should talk to him. He's getting into finance and that kind of thing, and that's how we, that's how we met. Obviously, I, I remember you probably had a eyewealth player of the game back in the day and playing football. I remember you back in high school, but, uh, but give us a little bit of your background, like, like growing up in yeah, Wasika. Yeah, grew up in Wasika, uh, played football and hockey and ran track and was involved in the sport community pretty heavily, and after high school i didn't know what i was going to do exactly yeah, uh, so like many. <laughs> yeah so i had the opportunity to go play junior hockey and live with my aunt and uncle and where was that at uh la crescent minnesota so i played out of lacrosse but lived in la crescent with them and they were awesome hosts and living with them made it easier on me uh so after living there for two years i got an opportunity to play hockey at gustavus and st mm-hmm. peter you know mm-hmm. close to home still yeah, right uh f- just 40 minutes down the road and uh didn't know what i was going to do started in accounting and then you know started to get more into the finance thing and right. really liked it um as soon as i switched over to finance yeah so we're, we're having a meeting a little while ago and and uh the the person we were meeting with happened to be from that lacrosse area and she works at like this hospital and JP's JP no he starts naming the hospital and the local grocery store and stuff like that and, and uh, it was all from your playing days of playing junior yeah, yeah when I had to go to the hospital get stitches yeah. after I got hit in the face right right <laughs> so JP gets done with school graduates in, in May the, the finance degree and then um, you know you had to sit through a series of tests tell us about those I mean how many were there and yeah, so I actually got started while I was still in college in my last semester. So you start studying for the SIE exam. Mm-hmm. Um, took that one in April, so towards the end of the semester and, you know, passed that. Yep. Um, and then you graduate in May and you're done with studying, <laughs> so you think. <laughs> right. Um, and then you get to work and you get to start right back up again and study for the Series 7, which is, you know, definitely the... Uh, most difficult of the tests and requires the most studying um, and then pass that one and then on to the 60 series 66 mm-hmm. test uh, mm-hmm. with your state law and whatnot and pass that one and then you keep going and you got yeah. uh, Minnesota life insurance test and then Minnesota health insurance test and then it kind of combines for one overall big insurance right. test which just passed this week right. so yeah yeah, he, 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 I walked in the day after he finished with the insurance and was all done. I'm like, all right, ready for the next one? And his head's like, what? Like, <laughs> what's going on? So, uh, no, he's, he did, you did a great job with all those tests. And it's, it's just one of those necessary things that need to get out of the way. Um, the cool thing is JP's been sitting in meetings with me since really January. But uh, since he graduated, just like full on and, and – uh, He'll start meeting with clients now and, and um, giving advice and things like that. But, I mean, you've been a really good student, and I'm still a student. You'll continue to be one. It won't be tests all the time, but there'll be real-life tests as yep. you work with clients and things like that. What are you most looking forward to when it comes to, you know, sitting down knee-to-knee with clients and working with them? So I come from kind of a customer service background, um, and then now I get to use that with finance and kind of provide people with some clarity um, in their financial picture. So I get to combine my two favorite things, you know, providing customer service and making sure our clients are happy mm-hmm. along with the finance aspect of things. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Cause it's not just numbers on a sheet. Yep. You have to be able to connect with people and find out what they're passionate about and what their goals are and make those, mo- make those dreams come true. So that's really cool. Well, we're excited to have you on the team and, uh, thanks for being here. Today. Yeah. Excited to be here. All right.